The Nokia Lumia 820 is Nokia's first Windows Phone device with support for a micro SD card slot. There's not a lot of evidence for this on the phone because it's all integrated, but one place you can see it is here in the phone storage module and the settings application. You can see how much free space there is on the phone's internal memory. 8 gigabytes in total on the 820, of which about 5 gigabytes or so is free when you first boot it up. Then there's the SD card here. You can see I've got 850 megabytes used out of a total of 14.84 gigabytes that's a 16 gigabyte card i've got in the device but you'll also notice some settings here that hint at the usage of the sd card now at storage settings below for music video and pictures and it dictates whether they're stored on the sd card or on the phone that's because in windows phone sd cards are really about auxiliary storage for media i.e where you store the media that you're either going to watch on the phone or listen to on the phone or that you take using the phone's camera now if you tap on the sd card here you'll get some additional information about the breakdown of how space is being used, music and video, pictures, others and free space. Note there's also options here for removing and formatting the SD card. Now others an interesting one, you can actually use the SD card to sideload zap files but it's fairly restrictive in terms of what you can do. Theoretically yeah, third party applications can also use the SD card, read only I'm afraid, but I'm yet to see any applications that really take advantage of that. Now uh, let's take a look at where the micro SD card slot is itself. In this case we have to take off the removable cover. Just get our fingers under the top here. It's a slightly tricky process sometimes. There we go. You can see here the back of the device, the battery. Now if we remove the battery and turn the device around here so you can see it, there's a micro SD card logo and that hints at the fact there's a micro SD card in there. Now it's a push to release mechanism. So just push it in, pops out. And there we go, there's the 16 gigabyte micro SD card. Now the support here for SD storage isn't perhaps as flexible as other platforms, but given that you've got generous onboard storage for apps and everything else, all your other data, it kind of makes sense to keep this uh, for media. After all, that means you don't get any disappearing apps or other data. If you do choose to remove the SD card, it's just your media. And it also maintains the security of the phone. And that's important if you've got sensitive data stored or not. So there we go. There's a, a quick look at how micro SD card storage works on the Nokia Lumia 820.